The letter Y doesn't have a sound, and neither does W. They both co-opt vowels to fake making their own noise. Y, W, Y, W. But those aren't individual sounds, they're multiple sounds. Let's prove it to ourselves. Try this with me. Say the word yes. Just say it. Did you say it? I can't hear you from here. Now, if you're by yourself or you're willing to put up with some weird looks, say it again very, very slowly. So slowly you don't even get to the second letter. Just hang out on the Y. What sound is actually coming out of your mouth? It's not a Y sound, because there's no such thing. You're just saying E. E yes. 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 What we think of as the Y sound is actually just our mouth switching from a long E to the following vowel really fast in the same syllable. Same with W, except it's ooh, not E. We can do that yes exercise with the word what. Ooh, what? Ooh, what? What? Wandering wearily, Wilbur waited while Wendy worked with woodpeckers. Every word in that sentence started with an incredibly quick oo and then moved on to another vowel. And what we perceive as the W sound is our mouth gliding between those two vowels. Which is why W and Y in these situations are called glides. Not every idea needs to have an esoteric name like diphthong, one of the funnest terms in linguistics. Actually, glides and diphthongs are really similar, but not the same. Maybe we'll talk about diphthongs soon. Come on if you feel like it. But wait, be warned, I sometimes talk about jigsaw puzzles and laugh at fundamentalism. This is not an ideal account for sanctimonious evangelical puzzle haters. 